Welcome, everybody. We are here. The highly anticipated moment of the draw for the European Cup hosted by Victory Road. And um, this is a moment, and I'm not alone, actually. I am joined <laughs> by Lou right over here. Hello, Lou. <laughs> yeah, hey, Costa. Thanks for inviting me along. Sort of last minute jump in. Um, but I'm super excited because the Euro Cup's just such a lovely competition. You know, we've got all these amazing countries participating in VGC while we're in this sort of horrible global situation at the moment. Mm. It's like a little bit of joy and there's going to be so many amazing teams coming forward. A few underdogs as well, a few titans. But I think that's the fun of it. Like this whole competition just streams competitive and it's going to be awesome to watch. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't have put it any better. That is what we are here for. We are here for the hype. We've been trying to hype this up for quite a bit of time <laughs> right now. And I think it's all finally coming to a head. We're here. We're live. We mm -hmm. are going to be doing the draw live as well. But before uh, we go any further with regards to the draw itself, we are going to go over a manager preview. Should I say captain preview? Yeah. Just so we could uh, get a bit more familiarized with who's actually leading these teams into this first time European VGC competition, the Euro Cup. Um, as you did see from the trailer, there was a bit of a showing off of the logos. <laughs> I believe Lou oh, has mentioned... Beautiful. There we go. And she's a big fan. I mean, how mm -hmm. can you not be a big fan? It's amazing. It's it amazing. Yeah, yeah, and like all the different logos as well with the different Pokemon. Some of them, like, I mean, most of them are all like really harmonious to the country as well. Yeah. Um, and I just, I love that. It's like a little bit of team spirit. And honestly, like huge credit to all the artists who've worked on everything that we've done here for the logos, for the video, the intro. It's just been, it's just amazing. It's like top caliber production. So awesome. 100% guaranteed. So without any further ado, we're going to go straight into it, ladies and gents. Mm -hmm. We are going to be presenting a slide of each of the captains. And we're just going to talk a tiny bit about the achievements. We do have to remember that there are a few countries which are very new countries. And mm -hmm. uh, what I mean by this, by their representation on the European, on the national level as well, including, for example, my own country, Greece. So... <laughs> We're not going to have a lot of achievements, maybe. I mean, I'm just pointing to someone here. But um, regardless, <laughs> we're just going to go over, give everyone the respect that they deserve. We mm -hmm. are a VGC community. We are trying to push the European level that bit higher. And without any further ado, I do believe we're actually going to go straight into it. Uh, let me see. I think it might be Austria. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we've had World Cups before. We're now here in Euro Cup. So the team captain is Lucas for Austria. He's got some accomplishments here where he's made it to top eight Sheffield Regionals, top four Paris special event, all in 2019. He was also MPA nine champion. So he knows what it takes to kind of get to this top level. So hopefully he's going to be able to pilot his team really well. And we could see some surprises from Austria. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not... Um... Just like he's actually able to prove himself, not only an NPA number nine mm. champion in the ninth series, of course, but he's gone ahead. He's gotten some really good top cut uh, showings as well. I'll beat it might not be a final, but it's a semi final in the Paris special event. And you have to remember those kind of events. You don't actually get any payback. It's purely for the CP. It's one of those mm -hmm. special events where you have to click as fast as you can on the Internet the moment that registration goes live get into it so he completed the first step in actually signing up in a very bizarre sign up process <laughs> um and he was able to take it all the way up until the uh, semi-finals and sheffield regionals as well i believe they're both played in the vgc um 19 format the ultra series mm -hmm. i think um so good showing there as well uh regardless uh i think we're just gonna go on to the next one Mm -hmm. um, real quick. I think we're going alphabetically from what I remember. Yeah, it keeps it nice and easy for us so we don't get confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, we're going to go next. It's probably going to be Czech Republic when it decides to pop mm -hmm. up <laughs> in a hot moment. <laughs> then it's us as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's all good. Oh, it's just no while problem. we wait for like Czech Republic to come back. Oh, okay, here it is. I was just gonna say it's, Too it's late, lovely Luke. as well, kind of <laughs> <laughs> Too late, seeing Luke. like these countries come up that you know, like you said, don't have too many players that are well known, and it's it's just such a nice opportunity for players to be able to come forward as we've got here with the captain. I'll let you take it away, Costa. Yeah, so we've got uh, Michael Sushek. Um, I probably butchered his surname, so I do apologize, Michal. Um, uh, regardless, he's a more of a newer player with regards to notoriety to the VGC community. Uh, I do believe that he had mentioned that he's been playing quite a few years, um, Pokemon mm -hmm. overall. So it's more of 
these moments where, that you were just talking about, Lou, um, with the underdogs coming up into the fray. We do see that Michal might be one of those carrying Czech Republic on his shoulders with his teammates, trying to give it the best that they can. He has uh, basically been going on a more local level and been participating in those tournaments. It's one of those countries where I'd say, from personal experience, Greece, uh, they're just trying to start up their events going. Official nice. CPs. So, yeah, so that's really good from Michal. He is representing the Czech Republic. And um, we're actually going to go on to the next slide. Yeah, so going over to Finland here, we've got Oliver Eskelin as the captain. And again, he's got some amazing accomplishments here. He's cut regionals many times. He was day two Worlds 2019. Um, so, and he won Oceana when he was in seniors. So, you know, he knows what it takes to win. And one thing I know about Oliver as well is he's a super solid team builder, um, can throw in a little bit of creativity in there. But I know a lot of the time when I see a team and I'm like, oh, whose team is this? Like, where'd you get this team? A lot of people always say, oh, Oliver Eskelin made it. <laughs> so as a captain, he's going to be really good at helping his team build and prepare for every single matchup so i'd say finland are one of the ones to watch out for a hundred percent i completely agree and i think that he will be claiming that vamos word as i've heard him say mm -hmm. so many times um and taking finland forwards into the fray into the euro cup and like you said is gonna be one of those to look out for um we're gonna go on to the next slide right now which is gonna be france uh, represented by hippolyte bernard hippolyte we do know um for quite a few years now he's been uh, pretty consistent in trying to get good placements we've seen at worlds of 2019 he was able to actually come 31st at the cologne regional after that during the same year of course um mm -hmm. in the format of vgc 2020 he was actually able to crown himself the cologne regional champion with that yeah. pesky little shedinja <laughs> of which we cannot forget right now <laughs> oh god i'm it. never gonna forget his win as well like it was i believe yeah. it was a victory road stream as well and i just remember when he won the crowd went wild jumped up onto the stage um yeah. so he's kind of a firm favorite as a captain really really lovely guy um he's obviously no what it takes to be a regional champion so again he's going to be a really good captain to pilot team france a hundred percent and he was actually able to go ahead and get top 32 at the champions cup which let's not forget it was the highest these biggest um vgc tournament of mm -hmm. all time so being able to come top 32 in a 1500 plus player uh, tournament <laughs> i think that is extremely impressive um next i do believe we're gonna go over to germany luke yeah, so this is one of the titans of VGC, Team Germany. Um, this one is actually a dual captainship here. We've got Ike Marvin and Fezzi Ozkin, as you can see here on the screen. Fezzi's the one whose accomplishments we've decided to bring here. Um, again, phenomenal player here, multiple top cup finishes, and he did win that Champions Cup tournament that you just mentioned, um, Costa. 1,500 yeah. players, uh, biggest tournament, not just online, but just ever with Pokemon. It was it was just phenomenal and he piloted it so well. Um, one of the things as well with Germany, you know, they're a big, big titan of a team. There's a phenomenal players throughout their roster. They've got so many different achievements. Um, and they actually recently had a throwdown with Japan. Um, they yeah. didn't come out the victors of that. So I feel like Germany coming into this competition back kind of on the home turf with Europe, um, they're going to be really wanting to make a name for themselves and get a little bit of their reputation back. Yeah, 100%. I think uh, they're going to be one of those. I think uh, they are going to be part of the top four, which we will explain in further detail mm -hmm. as well after, because they are such heavyweights as well. We're going to go on to Greece. <laughs> who's and, this? Um, who's this? Who's this noob? So, um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Costa Dimos um, is going to be representing Greece as the manager. Um, he doesn't have many accomplishments, uh, maybe more in his dreams rather than reality. But uh, regardless, he was able to get a mid-season win, go ahead and qualify for the 2020 format um, mm -hmm. based off of Ultra Series, I believe, where he accumulated most of his points. And uh, then recently, he was able to get top 16 in the Solidarity Challenge, uh, whilst also commentating, from what I hear as well, on the same <laughs> day. So very, very impressive little note to make there. But regardless... Um, <laughs> He will be bringing Greece into the fold. He wants to prove that Greece should be included in this European community and that it has a lot to push. And, you know, in the end of the day, if it can, prove. Uh, regardless, we are going to go on to the next uh, team captain as well, Lou. 
So for Team Ireland, you've got Maddie Morgan. This is my team. Um, <laughs> so looking forward to seeing what Ireland's going to be able to bring. We've had a little bit of shade thrown at us on Twitter. Um, so we're the underdogs for sure. But Maddie is a phenomenal player. You can see here as well, lots of top four finishes. Um, he did phenomenally well in the seniors division and has kind of carried that through into Masters where he's really trying to make his mark. Um, yeah. And I know for a fact Maddie's going to be so supportive behind his team. And although they're the underdogs, you can't write out Team Ireland. We have the luck of the Irish on our side. Um, <laughs> Um, and I think they're definitely going to be a team that could have some surprises. Yeah, I completely agree. And Matty, I've been able to um, have the honor and pleasure to meet him up front as well at Malmo. He did really well there as well. He was able to just show some really good tactics going into his gameplay. Really good strats as well. I believe it was like a, um, what was it? It was a Torah Cat. It was a U-turn Torah yes, Cat into Torah a cat. Tita. Yeah, and it was, it was something for sure. Uh, but regardless, we are going to go ahead and go into the next slide, which is um, Norway right now, ladies and gents, which uh, Norway is uh, represented by Sam Plasgard. And he is a quite a consistent player over time. He's uh, 2016, he was able to get a mid-season Trondheim champion. Um, uh, he was able to be uh, crowned the champion, of course. And mm -hmm. then he was able to do the same as well at Oslo in 2018, whilst being the runner-up um of the malaga mid-season as well i'm not sure which year that was but regardless it was um really good accomplishment he's more of the uh medium level but at the same time we don't know what potential he has he can honestly go out and say listen we're here to bring the noise mm -hmm. and we can do it with norway and we could go all the way as well Exactly. And I've got to give a shout out as well to the Alona Ninetales in the logo. I think that fits very nicely with Norway. Um, and again, very prestigious Pokemon. Could be some surprises coming out from Norway here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, regardless, we are going to go over to uh, Poland. Yeah, so going on to Poland here with Simon being the team captain here. He's been... Um, oh, can't even speak at the moment. He's been invited to Worlds three times, so he has got this consistent level of good Pokemon play um, that he's going to be able to spread the wisdom to his teammates with. Um, ranked top four in Europe in 2020 as well, has cut nationals multiple times. You know, he started playing in 2013. Like he is a veteran of Pokemon. He's kind of seen it all, so he's going to be able to take those skills and that knowledge and experience and throw that through his team. Um, Poland again, not one of the places that's got the most established player base, but that's the joy that's competition we're going to see new faces and people looking to make a mark for themselves and that could be the beginning of their own pokemon journey so i'd say keep an eye on poland as well 100 percent. i mean simon is able to just prove overall that uh he's very consistent i remember simon in 2019 he was just going ahead and literally he he's he's not from the uk but i saw him often in the uk even pursuing events like vgc events too so i mean it was it was very impressive because he was uh one of those wallet warriors and he was proving why because he was able to get a result to all at all of those um uh events as mm -hmm. well so very very uh pristine accomplishment that he was able to go through regardless we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next slide ladies and gents which will be Portugal, I believe. Yeah, so Portugal, again, a captain that really doesn't need too much of an introduction, really well known in the community, Eduardo Cunha, or Edu as we know him. Again, he has got so many accomplishments, you know, top four worlds 2016, one Oceana um, International Championships in 2019, and then got top 16 at Worlds last year um he's just someone who consistently achieved you know he's done really well in the um players invitational as well um he's just someone who is extremely consistent very well versed with teams and i think he's going to be a great captain here for portugal again he's just going to be able to put loads of experience through to his teammates and he's just because he's such a personal guy as well he's going to be able to kind of really rep team portugal as well and kind of keep them alive as much as possible yeah, 100%. I mean, he's just been so consistent. For me, honestly, he's one of the most consistent, if not the most consistent player <laughs> I've seen for a very long time. No bias coming out from me whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> he's going to be able to prove himself through. We're actually going to go next into Russia right now, uh, which is going to be managed and captained by Alexander Zak. Um, he's got actually uh some good results at a uh, more national oh russian national actually when Ooh. when did russian when did russia have nationals lou wow in 2018 
Um, this might be sort of their own variation of a national championship. Um, but either way, at the event, he's managed to be really consistent. You've got top 16 and then going on to top four. Um, in the like the year just gone so he's been building and building on that so again there's consistency in there clearly some excellent pokemon play as well to get into those top cup um finishes um yeah. so as a captain it's going to be interesting to see what he can motivate and inspire his team to do in this tournament yeah 100 percent. and it, we are really honestly looking forward to what russia can uh, bring as well and talking about russia we're actually gonna go straight into spain <laughs> um represented by alex gomez i don't believe i i, I do believe sorry should i say that this name is worldwide known mm -hmm. as well everyone knows this guy he's just really good he's always one of the top players he's been in the top events every single time getting really really solid results um and also recently he was able to take a participate as well in the players cup invitational yep. where runner he was up. yeah <laughs> runner up exactly he went runner up uh did he believe did he win um the winners bracket i believe right before the grand finals i think yeah so he had actually faced the winner earlier on and beaten him beaten yuri um yeah. and then had to go through that kind of dumb double elimination or double winners bracket to be able to win so um but unfortunately yuri was able to take the victory from him. and i think that's kind of where alex's drive is coming from in this tournament as well you know he's a, a phenomenal player but he's got second place at so many recent events that he's just so hungry to take that championship title so he's yeah. going to be driving his team again at spain another titan of the vgc community the fact that he's so hungry for that first place finish i think could be the extra motivation that could take spain all the way yeah, I definitely agree with that 100%. Uh, we, with that, we're actually going to go on to the next slide, which is going to be Sweden, represented by Victor Larsson. Um, he's a player which has been playing quite a few years right now. He has been able to get three world top eights right now, or should I say... Yeah, I believe, yeah, that's in 2018, top four. I'm not 100% sure with that information, but regardless, he is a world caliber mm -hmm. player, ladies and gents. He's a training partner of Nils Dunlop, <laughs> worth noting as well. Nils, mm -hmm. I think everyone knows him as well. So knowing that he's a training partner with Nils, they're both at that level where they're able to bounce ideas off each other, practice as well. And regardless, he's really good. He's actually, um, 2016, he was... Uh, promoted from seniors onto masters in 2017 so showing that consistency both from seniors and pushing forwards into masters so that's a really tough thing as well uh, coming up from the fray between seniors and masters usually it's a big gap but for the very talented and well-renowned players that they're able to push through and prove that practice me can mean perfect he was able to prove that as well so we are going to go on to the next country as well which should be netherlands luke yeah, so you are in Raymakers here. Um, he has managed to get top eight at Trainer Tower Open. So he's had a very good online presence. He's someone I've seen in a lot of the online events as well and in person. Um, I remember at the Offenbach Regional Championships, he had an excellent game on stream. Uh, and I remember him being very patient with a few technical difficulties we were having at the time. Uh, yeah. So again, just someone who's been playing. He's been playing since 2015. He knows Pokemon very well. He's very sort of communicative with loads of different people in the community. So he's going to have this experience and this influence. And the Netherlands as well, they have some solid VG players through history as well. Um, yeah. Some people who have really come up through the ranks. Um, so there's a lot of talent sort of to be nurtured there. And I wonder if Joran's going to be able to take that and again, make some surprises from the Netherlands. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, we went up against a uh, Urines Netherlands team uh, with Greece, should I say, in a friendly. They were oh, yeah. able to, yeah, they were able to beat us handily. But regardless, we were able to show that. Uh, or should I say, on day one, they were able to beat us handily. But then game two, we were trying to bring it back. We lost four three. But Urine, he's a good mate of mine. He's a good guy. He's a good mm -hmm. PGC player. So expect a lot from <laughs> Netherlands as well. Um, and we, with that, we are going to go ahead and go on to the next slide, which should be the UK. Um, oh, there we go. The United <laughs> Kingdom with our team captain there, Jamie Boyd for UK. Again, so many accomplishments here. Ninth at the World Championships most recently, come 13 2016. And he is a three-time regional champion, won one of those regionals with a cottony, which is my all-time favorite fact ever about Jamie Boyd. But again, Team UK, they have been quite solidly consistent throughout a lot of online tournaments. There's a very good player base in the UK. So if Jamie's able to take the players that he's got, look to their strengths and build upon them, um, yeah. then he's going to be set with a really, really solid team. And knowing Jamie on a personal level, he's someone who's very fair, very approachable. He's going to be an excellent team captain for this team. 
Yeah, 100%. And um, if people did notice there was a technical issue, um, <laughs> unfortunately, we weren't able to get Italy's slide up. Um, it was only because for some reason, uh, it was a big technical issue. I'm not going to get into the details of it, but regardless, <laughs> we are going to mm. go ahead and talk a bit about the Italian manager, yes. uh, which is um, Alessio um, mm -hmm. Vincighera. And um, he's a VGC player ever since 2015. He's a three times world competitor. Day mm -hmm. two worlds actually in 2018 as well. And um, with the NPA as well, he was able to go ahead and take part in NPA 7, Series 7 with the Cruisers. Mm -hmm. So a player that's been there building up through the years ever since 2015 and been able to just go ahead, be consistent, keep on getting that Worlds invite and mm -hmm. go ahead and actually reach day two of Worlds in 2018. So really good accomplishment from there. We know Italy is outrageously mm -hmm. good. So <laughs> it is in the top four. It has amazing players as well. Um, no bias as well, once again. But um, we're really, really looking forward to what Italy can go mm -hmm. ahead and show the European community and say, listen, we've got a lot of Italian good players. Let's mm -hmm. try to put it to the test and make something out of this and try to get that cup. Yeah, um, there's a lot of really good rivalries there as well, like particularly between yeah. sort of Germany, Italy, UK and Spain. They're always vying to be like the best in Europe. And yeah. I think at some point here or other, one of those countries has been at the top at some point. Uh, but I think with sort of this first big Euro Cup, that's where you can really take a title away and be like, when you're trying to flex about it, I won yeah. this event. Um, yeah. And then no one can take that away from you. Oh, 100%. I think that's what it is all about. It's all about bragging rights right now. Mm -hmm. Not only to keep us busy and enjoying <laughs> the meta, because in the end of the day, we are in Series 5, ladies and gents, yeah, officially. Series 5. We will be from this Monday for sure, officially, and that is when the Euro Cup Week 1 will start as well. So, we've gone over the manager profiles, captain profiles, whatever you want to call them. Right now is the moment we've all been waiting for. It yes. is draw time right now ladies and gents we're just going to explain it very quickly what we are going to do um there are two pools the first pool is the top four pool that has been decided to include the countries of the united kingdom germany spain and italy these mm -hmm. four teams will each be placed into their own individual group um we will be planning on actually doing that at the end of the draw just so we can bring that tiny bit of hype <laughs> right down right down your alley but um yeah so what we are going to be doing first before even talking about the top four pool we're going to be going ahead and unveiling our second pool which is going to mm -hmm. be the remaining 12 countries this was decided by all managers um there were i believe three options we all came to the conclusion of this one to be the most fair and mm -hmm. that's basically the way we're going to go about it so without any further ado Lou, I do believe we're going to go ahead and start yeah. unveiling. Take uh, it away, Costa. You will be picking the 12 un top pool um, teams, and then I will bring in the final four at the end so that damn straight. we can complete our team of 16 countries. 100%. But Costa, who is going to be the first team you're pulling out and assigning to a group? Oh, here we go, Lou. This is the moment we've been waiting for. So as you can see here, I'm shuffling everything. They are in my hat. It is all official. <laughs> Your cool hat. My cool hat. <laughs> Lou, what cool hat do you have? I'm not sure. I think I think mine might be a bit cooler. Okay, I got um, Eevee Snorlax. There we go. Uh, Eevee Snorlax, uh, <laughs> last I checked, does not beat Magikarp and the oh. Waylord. So, um, very, very cool hat here, ladies and gents. So, <laughs> I actually got the first one out right now. Shuffled them very quickly. The mm -hmm. big unveil right now. Let's see. Let's... Oh, by Who the way, <laughs> uh, people are going to say it's rigged. <laughs> Is it Greece? No, no, it's Austria. Ladies oh. and gents, we've got Austria coming out first. Austria will be placed in the air group right now. Um, perfect. Yeah, so Austria's going to go ahead, pop its little growl on into the top left section of nice. the air group. Um, so that's really exciting. We're starting to go ahead and get momentum going, ladies and gents. Let's go, I'm, let's go. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead into the second one. Give another shuffle real quick. You see that I'm shuffling. I'm not lying. Here <laughs> they go. Here's the things. All right, here we go. Number two. So right now, this team is going to go into the next group. Um, it's not going to go into the same group. There we go. It is Russia. Russia's going to go into the fire group, ladies and gents. Russia's out of the pot as well. All right, so that's two teams down. You can see how we're going to start building this up as well. We're just going to keep rotating through the groups and build them up that way. 
Exactly, Lou. So, yeah, so Russia's just going to place its little three heads onto the top <laughs> right, I believe. Yep, there we go. Next team coming right up is Poland. So, Poland, if my lighting allows me to show it, and my bad handwriting. Yep, there we go. Poland is next, goes straight into the Earth group mm -hmm. with its cute little Latios, uh, Latias sorry, logo. I love the <laughs> logos, by the way. Look at how good they are. I love the way it compliments the Polish flag as well. It does, doesn't it? I yeah. like the color coordination. Really good. Really, very, really very good. good. Bonus next, points. Definitely, definitely bonus points. Next, we have Ireland, ladies and Ooh, gents. Ireland. In the water group. Yes, in the water group. Uh, by the way, apologies for the handwriting. I was very stressed whilst run, uh, writing it and very little time. I know it's hideous. Um, <laughs> so, yes, Ireland does go to the water group right now with a very nice logo there as well of the cheeky little Zonius. And um, now is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the moment countries will be placed against each other. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and see who is up now for the air group. And it is Czech Republic, ladies and gents. Czech Republic goes ahead and is up against Austria for now in the air group. Going they were the first up. two we talked about as well. And they're in the same group. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Here we go. So we got next. Now, the next team to mm -hmm. go ahead into the fire group is the Netherlands. Of course, I wrote Holland because the Netherlands would not fit. So, <laughs> uh, Holland, aka Netherlands, goes into the fire group up against Russia as one of its opponents, ladies mm -hmm. and gents. I need to do a bit more of a shuffle, shuffle in the camera. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, keep shuffling. Don't drop any out now. I shall not. Keep it nice and legit. <laughs> nice and legit. We've got Earth Group coming up right now, the second team, which is Finland. Ladies and gents, Finland goes into the Earth Group. Fantastic. So they're going to be going up against Poland in their group. So we're almost, upon the next one, we'll have 50% Ooh. of our groups all decided, which is pretty cool. The teams are already starting to shape up really nicely. Exactly. So... Without any further ado, next one, we're going to see the second team of the water group, ladies and gents, which is France. Ladies and gents, France joins Ireland in the water group. Love that. You've got the creative emerald isle, and then you've got the smiggle there for oh. France. Oh, oh so, my yeah. lord. It's like a, good. <laughs> a match made in heaven. <laughs> Xerneas and Smeagol being right next mm -hmm. to each other. Amazing. Oh, no, oh. that's that's a flashback to 2016 that nobody wants. Just a bit. <laughs> Wait, what? what's 2016, Lou? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, let's not. <laughs> oh, gosh. What have we done? <laughs> Here we go. Right, so next, we're going to have the third team of the air group coming up right now, ladies and gents, in front of your screens and mine, Portugal. Portugal with a hideous handwriting. Yes, ladies and gents. Here we go. <laughs> Portugal. So mm -hmm. it's double fire types right now and a ground type. Not looking good right now in the air group. Um, but I mean, Portugal kind of makes sense in the air group, doesn't it? With the hot oh. Very yeah, nice uh, logo true. as well, once again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So final, final, final. Here we go. Next team for the fire group, ladies and gents, is... Oh, I scrunched this up a bit too much. Sweden, ladies and gents, Sweden joins the fire group with Russia and Netherlands. Nice, these teams will start to shape up. Wonder where Greece is going to yeah. come into it, Costa. Are you saving it till last? <laughs> Am I saving it till last? <laughs> I don't even know. That's a 50 50, isn't it? Oh, I know. So here right. we go. Drum roll. <laughs> it's drum roll. And here we go. Norway is Norway. the Earth is in the Earth group. So Greece Which is means... not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so Norway going ahead with the very elegant Alola Ninetales logo, joining Poland and Finland. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, <laughs> with a process of elimination, we do see Greece joining mm -hmm. the water group, ladies and gents, joining Ireland and France. Um, you did note, of course, that I did say Greece is out to prove something. It's definitely out to prove something. It's a perfect moment for it as well. Oh, definitely. Particularly in team with Ireland as well. I think me and you <laughs> might fall out in this tournament. You may not see us together on screen again. 
<laughs> yeah, I think there's going to be a bit of a conflict of interest there, Lou. That's for sure. Uh, oh, but yeah. <laughs> they're looking good, though, the teams. Really, they're really looking, loving them so far. 100%, I completely agree. Uh, I think now we're actually going to go ahead and pass over to Lou, which she is going to be unveiling the four last teams, the top four pool in which we are going to see where they're placed in these groups. Yeah, just folding them up a little bit more. You can see my cool hat, the four teams. Very so, cool hat indeed. For the air group, we have got the United Kingdom. UK, go to the air group. Here Fantastic, we go. so air group is complete. Little Palti Geist uh, logo as well. I see the T. I see it. I see it, Mr. Okay. Danny Boy. For the fire group. Fire group. We've got Italy. Italy. Here we go. Fire indeed. Okay. Sorry, Very... Ron is getting up. My cat. She doesn't want to be here anymore. She's outraged. <laughs> so Italy with a really nice logo there as well. The triple evolution between the Dastly Dengar and Honta with a switch as well. Okay, so then for the Earth group, we've got Spain. Spain joining. Which means, last in the hat, we've got Germany joining the Water group. Oh, so I do believe we actually see a very fire group, which is actually disguised as a water group, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> With wow, the Lapras is... joining, it's a water Pokemon, but honestly, all <laughs> these groups look legit. They look all super fire. Um, we've 100%. talked about the water group as well, but if you look back to sort of the Earth group, you've got some of the underdogs in there as well, with like Finland, Norway, and Poland, who are all allowed to prove something, having to take on Spain. Um, yeah. That's going to be a group with so much grit and determination. I can't wait to see what they're going to produce. The fire group as well. You've got some established players in there coming up from the Netherlands. Of course, Italy. We talked about how amazing Italy is. Um, and again, Sweden and Russia have got their own pool of players that this yeah. could be their opportunity to really break through. So there could be a few names taken in that category. And we throw it back over to the air group, Portugal and the United Kingdom. That's always going to be a fantastic match when those two face. But then with Austria and the Czech Republic being the underdogs, not so easy to predict. Yeah. There could be some upsets there as well. Oh, 100 percent. Oh, I could come like you said, it is actually really well set out because mm -hmm. you've got these different dynamics of each of the groups going in uh, between the air group, fire group, earth group, and water group. But regardless, we're just going to talk a bit about the earth group right now, which has Poland, Finland, Norway, and Spain. Spain going ahead and being the favorite, of course, of the group. It is part of the top four, but Poland and Finland and Norway, they're out there to try to prove a point right now um, mm -hmm. to say, listen, you might be the favorite. But guess what? Another team's going to go ahead and try to do the best it can to try to beat you down. And we're going to see. It's going to be really enticing, really exciting to see what they can go ahead and prove. And finally, we do have the water group where mm -hmm. it does have Ireland, France, Greece, and Germany. So it's looking like a, I would say, in my opinion, in uh, comparison with the other groups, it seems like there's a lot to play right now in this group. It's it's mm -hmm. very crucial because you've got a couple of teams which are new. So let's say, for example, Ireland and Greece, yeah. uh, VGC-wise, national-wise, they are very new teams. France and Germany, we've seen... Uh, some really good highlighted players, world class players coming out from those players, uh, from those teams as well, being able to just prove and define the meta at crucial different times of the year, of the format, yes. of all time. And um, Ireland, it does have Mr. Matty Moo. Let's not forget Mr. Matty Moo. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah, we can't because he's one of those top players. So, top players overall being able to try to prove their point bring their teams forward and try to go ahead and progress into the playoffs right now and talking about playoffs Lou, we are going to have three weeks of mm -hmm. these group play of these group matches of these fixtures should i say so what's going to happen is each team is going to play against each other one time only and then whoever is um the first two placings of each group is going to go ahead and progress into the playoffs where we are going to have basically the teams halved down to eight. And mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and basically have 
a tournament structure of the top eight and going ahead, trying to prove what they can, beat the others, and try to go ahead and get that prize of the European Cup that everyone is mm -hmm. in it to win it for right now. A lot of teams, all teams, have something to prove, and they're going to go ahead and do the best they can to go ahead and just complete it. Do the best they can. Exactly. I mean, I think it's time to get practicing now. You know, why wait? <laughs> Um, now you know who you're against, you can really start thinking about things, about team styles, strategies, maybe the particular bills that they've been using. Um, so yeah, no time like the present. I mean, that's something I'm going to be doing the moment we get off this stream. <laughs> I need to go practice, need to play the DLC a little bit more. Um, but yeah, yeah. In, all, in all seriousness, though, it's, it is an intense competitive competition, but it's also a great excuse to have fun and play some Pokemon. So good luck to everyone competing. Have fun and try and get those wins. Exactly, Lou. Just like you said right there. Good luck. Have fun to everyone. Uh, this is going to be streamed and recorded from mm -hmm. Victory Road, from their channels as well. The Twitch channel that they have and the YouTube channel for the recorded matches that they could go ahead and get either via capture card or mm -hmm. spectator mode. But regardless, stay tuned both on Victory Road's Twitter, their Twitch and their YouTube, so you can get all of that juicy European VGC. <laughs> lots of action. <laughs> or lots of action. Go ahead and get highlighted. Get in there and see what's up. And you'll see there's going to be a very, very competitive competition right now. And we're all highly looking forward and anticipating it actually starting off this Monday, ladies and gents, mm -hmm. Monday to Sunday. For three weeks straight, we're going to have the group fixtures, and then we're going to go ahead and progress on to playoffs. But regardless, that is all from Lou and myself right now. Thank you all so much for passing by. That is your final group uh, stand, uh, group uh, mm -hmm. group story. allocations. Allocations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember the word. Um, yes, <laughs> are you going to go ahead and uh, Victory Road will also post and plug their uh, link for their micro website which you will be able to go ahead when it's all prepared and ready and mm -hmm. check it out and be basically updated with everything because yeah. they have a really good website going on for them. They're going to be able to show standings, statistics, everything, you name it. These guys know what they're doing and they're doing it really well. But um, regardless, thank you all so much. We've loved having you here. I hope you all have a lovely night, a lovely rest of the weekend. And uh, without any further ado, we'll see you till next time. Yeah, see you guys. Good luck.